Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 16th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather updates as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here always with 48 hours of imagery on our sun. You'll notice a large solar prominence in the northern hemisphere around the north, around the North Pole. Huge plasma tornado spinning around. No major solar flares or CMEs to talk about, but noting some pretty active regions incoming in the southern hemisphere, active sunspot region getting ready for a cresting view. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Left-hand side, you can see that to solar tornado. Other than that, no major CMEs thwarted our way. Having a closer look here at that solar tornado, huge plasma filament. Standing probably about eight Earths tall. Just a monstrosity of a solar tornado. Another look here at multi-spectrum. At the dancing tornadoes, looks like there's another one in the distance and two joined forces there. Just amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Happy to share them all with you. Another look at a full disk at multi-spectrum. Last 48 hours of events, there are no Earth-facing coronal holes and there are our most active sunspots. And as well, noting that Southern Hemisphere active region getting ready to turn in. And as well, I'm pretty sure there's a large sunspot region on the backside of our sun. After shooting out that large halo CME from a monstrosity of a CME. Backside flare on our sun. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, you can really see the plasma loops whipping around the heliosphere of our planet, our star. Amazing images. Space weather conditions, we are under a G2 moderate geomagnetic storm. Possible impacts to high latitude power systems may experience voltage alarms. Long duration storms can cause transformer outages. Solar X-ray flux remains in a B range after not seeing much in the way of flares. Solar proton flux has finally calmed down after bumping up the geomagnetic activity to KP6. Real-time solar wind was sitting at 457 kilometers per second after being up to just about 600 kilometers per second last night. That was from the impact of that backside, say, halo CME. Have a quick look here at the pressure planes. This is our solar winds little animated image of what it looks like. We've got a lot of pressure around our planet right now. ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the latest event leaving planet Earth and as well showing here a small CME taking off towards Venus. LASCO 3 showing incoming sun diving comet. This is the last two days of imagery. Notice in the bottom left-hand side, that is where you will see the sun diving comet as it quickly dives towards the sun. Watch right here. Very faint, but it is there. And that bright star heading by the sun, that is Mercury, getting ready to head behind. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 14 for March 16th. Quick glance at the telemetry. Quality of 7.9, frequency 8.3. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. I did update you guys earlier on that large earthquake in Kermadec Islands as well. Alberta earthquakes. Not, nothing has been reported since that 5.0 and 4.8. But we did see 3.4 here in Plush, Oregon. 7 kilometer depth. Followed by a 2.9 as well. Deep Springs earthquakes still going on. 
but no major swarms to report today. Notable earthquake there, 2.5 Tennessee, as well Crowder, Oklahoma. Minor seismicity continuing through Puerto Rico today. 4.6 here in Pizarro, Colombia. Quiet through South America, a little too quiet for my liking, so heads up everybody. Stay aware, prepared. Had a pretty deep earthquake to report from Fiji. Northwestern Iran reporting a 5.2 and as well a 5.1 along the Arabian plate, as well a 4.8 there in Turkey. West Ring of Fire here along Indonesia, 5.2 earthquake there off the coast, as well for 5.4 to report Philippines, that was yesterday. And of course we had that 7.0 earthquake, Kermadec, and today we had a 552 kilometer depth earthquake south of Fiji Islands. We can always expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow something deep like that. And way too quiet in Japan. So way too quiet Japan, way too quiet through South America. Duly noted here with daily events worldwide. Having a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. And take a quick moment to thank you all for watching tonight's video and as well following and supporting daily events worldwide really appreciate all of the memberships the likes and of course the shares really helps to grow this channel to even more people 190 countries worldwide tuning into daily events hopefully you and your family are too that was the last seven days for earthquakes Carrying on here to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Semeru in Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, notable tornado warnings through Dallas, Fort Worth, Fuego in Guatemala. A lot of flood warnings here through South America. No other major volcanoes to report today. Swiss and Najima, Japan. But the extreme weather breaking out here across the U.S. Tornado warnings were ringing out around Las Vegas last night. And here today, through the Gulf states, as forecasted with daily events worldwide. Quite a big system heading up into Ontario, Canada right now. Rain moving in shortly. And we will see snow on the backside of this as we're seeing snow falling as far south as New Mexico. And even parts of northwest Texas. Having a look at satellite imagery right now, big rain system is on its way. Sprouting extreme weather through the U.S. And is about to warm things up a little bit through Ontario. And then on the backside of that, it will cool off. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, satellite imagery, big polar outflow coming out of Kamchatka. Running into a high pressure ridge off the coast of the United States going to see an intense system there north of Hawaii overlooking Africa and Europe we've got a huge low pressure system off the coast of the United Kingdom and Spain as well a big dust storm mixing up and heading into Spain this week notable there strong low pressure system through Turkey let's have a look at weather forecast for the next five days five to seven days here brought to you by Windy Low pressure system will be moving eastward. Low pressure system off the coast of BC will be bringing rain for the next few days, coastal regions. And snow still falling in a lot of higher elevation regions. Long range forecast is showing some pretty intense weather heading towards the Atlantic provinces and as well the east coast of the United States. Overlooking Europe, Africa, Southeast Asia. No major systems or cyclones developing. Heavy electrifying rains through Africa this week. Watch for possible wildfires sprouting up over the next couple weeks. Overlooking Pacific Ocean and of course Australia. Long range forecast still showing a couple cyclones developing but does not look like they will be making landfall. Extreme weather Monday into Tuesday. 
and then long range forecast watching a couple cyclones develop there northeast coast and as well northwest coast quick look here at the systems that are forecasted here just north of hawaii could see some very strong winds high surf especially towards the end of the month here big low pressure system fighting with a high pressure ridge in the east pacific long range forecast look for snow still to be falling through parts of alberta saskatchewan from a low pressure system off the coast of bc and washington ontario watch for snow to fall polar vortex is still prominent spinning around and watch for extreme weather and snowfall warnings through the atlantic provinces hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to smack that like button share comment let me know where you're watching from stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.